Yo, what is going on everyone? This is the Kid DC Wrestling back at it again with another video. It's Wednesday night and you know what that means. It is time for your February 16th, 2022 edition of AEW Dynamite. First things first, man. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys my Impact Wrestling No Surrender uh, predictions as that show is taking place the same day as The Chamber. Friday Night Smackdown Friday and of course The Chamber and No Surrender on Saturday. By the way, guys, I also want to thank you guys uh, for 6.30 subs. We just hit 6.30 subs today. Now we are on the road to 6.50 subs. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So we kick things off with CM Punk. He talks about how instead of being mad, instead of being upset, instead of being pissed about the outcome of his match with MJF in his hometown of Chicago, Punk is actually happy. Um, he, he said he tells him GF that he's proud of him. You know, Punk really mentions a lot of Bret Hart and Calgary, but he really mentions Piper a lot in Portland. And basically, the summary of this is this is all to lead to their match, March the sixth, AEW Revolution, and the match will indeed be Brian, not Brian, but MJF versus CM Punk in a dog collar match. Um, this is the second time that they've done a dog collar match in AEW, and, you know, it should be a good one. I mean, poor MGF, you know, he came out to the ring, well, he came out on the stage, and he had no words. He he had no words, he had nothing to say, he was kind of speechless, this is really the first time that you saw MJF kind of like that. So, yeah, a really good promo from CM Punk, though, as we get closer and closer to Revolution, which is shaping up to be, hopefully, a really good show. All right, next we got Brian Danielson versus Lee uh, Marotti. You know, Danielson, he, he said, Lee, I, I want to see some violence out of you tonight. And my goodness, did Lee give him that violence because these two men had a really good opener uh, tonight on AEW Dynamite. I mean, you know, Lee Marotti really showed out tonight. I mean, so much that the crowd was chanting, this is awesome. You know, the crowd was really behind Lee Marotti. Uh, Brian Danielson playing that, you know who, playing that experienced uh, person. But, of course, you know, being a little bad guy. And we see after, uh, you know, Brian Danielson putting Lee into the triangle sleeper and flexing as Marotti is already out. But John Moxley comes out and John Moxley cuts a really good promo. You know, talks about how, you know, man, uh, I fought you, Danielson, before, you know, 10 years ago. And, you know, I thought about what you're saying. You're right. Maybe we can team up again together. Maybe we can help the young guys out. But you know what? I got to know some, Danielson. Do you want to team up with me so we can dominate AEW together? Or do you want to team up with me just because you know that if I face you, I'll destroy you? Now, hear me out, Danielson. Hear me out. I'm not the same guy I was 10 years ago. I'm the ruthless. I'm the, I'm the, you know, I'm the unpredictable. I'm John Moxley, dang it. And, um, yeah, I'm the Moxley, Moxley. Uh, I really like the quote that he says here. He says that he doesn't stand by, he doesn't stand side by side with anyone unless he bleeds with them first. So, uh, really, like I said, really good promo from Moxley. Now he's got, now this week, he's got Danielson on the back burner here questioning him, like, you, do you really want this? So, yeah. All right, next we have Wartlow versus uh, Max Caster. This was the face of the Revolution ladder match qualifier to see who's going to be part of that ladder match. And this was your typical Wartlow match, you know, where his opponent gets a little bit of offense in, but it's not enough because Wartlow power bombs you, your butt through the ring canvas and you're done for. And uh, Max, even Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, they got power bombed by Wartlow. While Sean Spears on the outside, not doing nothing as the acclaim attack him after the match. And he comes in the ring after Wartlow's done with them, does, does it with the chair. And yeah, so... They're just continuing that story there. So, yeah. All right. So, next, we had Adam Page come out to the ring, you know, and as he begins to talk about his match from last week, here comes Adam Cole, baby. He talks about, you know, Page, you know, you and I, we, we've known each other for so many years. We've known each other for 10 years. You know, you and I, we're... I got respect for you, but just know that one day you and I, we are going to step in this ring and we are going to face each other. And when we do, I'm going to take that AEW World Championship away from you, partner. And, you know, Paige is like, oh, you know, you know, you, you talk about how I don't have any friends, about how I, I haven't heard from the Bucks in a few weeks of the Dark Order. I'm not perfect, but uh, 
Cole, I don't think you have the best record with friendship either. But uh, yeah, but anyways, you know, Cole again, he shakes his hand, leaves the ring. Boatman cut a pretty good promo too, by the way. And we see Red Dragon. I know Colorado's been out because he's been, he just recently uh, became a dad. So he's been at home for a few weeks, but he's back now. And <laughs> him and Bobby Fish attack uh, Adam Page as the Dark Order hits the ring and 10 clears them all out of the ring as this leads to a match this week on Rampage Slam Dunk between Adam Cole, Bebe, and 10 of the Dark Order. Next, we had a tag team match play. We had Chris Jericho and Jake Hager. By the way, Chris Jericho, I got to say, I got to give credit to where credit is due. Jericho has slimmed down a lot. And you could tell he's really been laying off the bubbly uh, for a while, you know, because we've all been <laughs> kind of joking at the fact that our Jericho's kind of been drinking too much of the bubbly. But man, Jericho looks really good. He's been slimming down a lot. So shout out to him for doing that. But yeah, we had Jericho and Jake Hager taking on Santana and Ortiz. This is the inner circle implosion. And Eddie Kingston makes his way out. We haven't seen him in a while. And yeah, man, after what was a really good match between the two teams. Yeah, it was a really good match, even with Jake Hager involved. Uh, we see Eddie Kingston trying to check on his boys, but, you know, Jericho springboards him and drop kicks him. And, of course, with that being said, uh, you know, Santana and Ortiz, you know, able to take the opportunity and they get the win. And so we get Eddie Kingston and Jericho going at it afterwards, not attacking, but shouting at each other. So I think it's pretty at this point. We all know it's going to happen. Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho at AEW Revolution. We had Mercedes Martinez versus Thunder Rosa in a no DQ match. You know, I thought this was a really good match for the women. Um, we saw uh, John Kreese from Cobra Kai. Um, that was pretty cool to see him. Big fan of Cobra Kai. If you haven't checked out that show, I highly recommend you go check it out. It's on Netflix. But um, yeah, this is a really good match. You know, Thunder Rosa gets the uh, Thunder Driver on Pile of Chairs for the win. We see Britt Baker and her crew come out and um, they jump Thunder Rosa, then they jump. Sandy's Martinez, so yeah, um, that was that. I thought that was really good. So, like I said before, Thunder, we're gonna have Thunder Rosa versus Britt Baker. This is a match that's gonna happen in Revolution, and it's gonna be a great one. All right, we had the main event. We had the TNT Championship match between Sammy Guevara and Darby Yallen. The two men shake hands to kick start the match, but they get right back down to business. Man, this was a really good matchup, man, between the both men. Two out of the four AEW pillars. I mean, it's it's really good. Um, we do see Mr. Andrade coming out and attacking, uh, Darby as, as he's on the apron, getting ready to hit the drop fin cop, the coffin drop, excuse me. And because of that, Sammy was able to take advantage, hit the GT, uh, you know, GTA, you know, <laughs> you, you got, you guys know what the finisher is, but hits it and he gets the win. So yes, I guess they're either, they're either going to do Sammy, uh, Sammy, <clears throat> And uh, Andrade for the TNT title, or it's going to be a triple threat match involving Darby Allen at Revolution. Either way, should be a good one. So, yeah, man, overall tonight, man, AEW Dynamite, it was a really good show all around. Um, yeah, I thought this was a really good show, man, as the momentum for Revolution picks up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling, and so, um, yeah.